it's super early in the morning. It's like 5.38, I think, last I checked. Um, it seems like someone forgot their lights on. Unless they're in the car right now, which I can't tell. Anyway, oh yeah, the car is definitely turned on. Um, I'm just walking over to my car, which is parked in the street instead of the driveway, because I have to move in today to school. Which means that I have to pack up all my things and I only have about 20 minutes to get everything in the car even though everything's a disaster. And the car is packed from when I moved out because I still hadn't moved my stuff back. Uh, so that's what I'm working on this morning. Hopefully the move in, move out process, rather move in, yeah, move in process won't be too difficult. I should probably turn my lights on. This is what my trunk looks like right now. It's packed to the brim with just stuff, honestly. Like there's no rhyme or reason to any of this really. Um, so I don't really know how much is gonna fit in here. Nothing, probably. Hi. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. And a bunch of stuff on there. In that box, everything's crazy in here. It is 6.23, GPS is telling me I'll get there at 7.50, so I better hope I get there at 7.50 because you can't even see me, but I have work at eight o'clock, so uh, I have to run. Okay, so I've only been on the road for about half an hour and I cannot stay awake, so I'm, I pulled over, I'm in the shoulder right now, which is not the safest area to be obviously like to take a nap or something but I just need to like I don't know take like a five minute nap because I cannot make it to a rest stop and um, I think I'm gonna be late to work I don't know what to do this is just how it is always for me I set a six minute timer and I sort of put my head down and tried resting for a bit but I didn't really sleep at all. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can distract myself until I get there. This is my biggest fear about driving in general, but driving in the morning particularly. And I try not to be afraid because it seems like the more afraid I am, the worse it is. Um, but it's just all the time and it sucks. I was supposed to leave last night, but I got really, really, really severe period cramps, so I just couldn't. I was in bed for a long time. And then finally at like 7 p.m. at 7 p.m. I started feeling better and it was like way too late to go. Okay, I have a chance now. There are no cars coming. I'm gonna go. Hopefully I make it on time to work and well, I'm fine. By the time I get to my work, I think it'll be 8.07. Yes, it's early enough so that there's parking in this area of school. Oh my god. Seems like it's much colder here in Pennsylvania than it was in New York. Because um, I'm freezing, or maybe it's just because I haven't slept enough. I don't know, but I'm finally on campus. My book bag weighs 300 tons because I have a bunch of stuff in here that I don't necessarily need right now, but I don't have time to sort everything out. Um, yeah, also probably because my jacket's not zippered. Could be why I'm super cold. But anyway, whew, I'm almost at work. I hope I make it by 8.07 because that's sort of the goal I set for myself. I think I'll actually be there a little bit earlier than that. <sighs> so not too shabby. But to be honest, it was rough. There were several times after I pulled over that I could not stay awake to save my life. Oh, I'm drooling. <laughs> I'm so gross, I'm struggling. Okay, I'm here. <sighs> I'm out of work. I'm sitting in the car. Um, I decided that I'm gonna skip my yoga class today even though I've never gone to it before um, but I just desperately need to sleep um, 
also my cramps seem to be coming back so I think I just need to like lie down and um, warm myself up um, I kept falling asleep at work and one of the people that work there came up to me and she was like are you okay um, and I was like yeah <laughs> You know, what do you say? Like, what do you, what do you really say? I don't know. It's, um, it's very frustrating and, like, makes me very upset that I don't know what's happening with my body and that I feel like I have no control over it. Um, and school makes me very, very, very anxious because... I don't know whether I'm going to be able to sit through a class or not, you know, and actually be awake and pay attention and do well and be engaged. Um, so it's like school is a huge point of anxiety and stress and I just like don't want to deal with it anymore, but I have one semester left and I've come this far. <laughs> I know I can do one more semester, it's just really tough. I don't know. I've never been. I really like this song by Selena Gomez, the wolf song. I wanna feel the way the Um, okay, I made it back to the apartment. I found parking in a place that I've never found parking before, so it's really cool. Um, it's like right like that's the main door right there and I'm parked right in front of it which I never thought I would find um I'm gonna try to take in as much things as much stuff as I can um but in order to do that I have to find my ID so I can swipe into the building otherwise it's uh, I can't get in and out of the building um and I don't really know how easy that's gonna be to find I really don't think I will find it um, and if that's the case, I'm just going to try to figure out what the most important things for me to take in are. And I'll leave the rest in here. Um, it's about to be like, it's like 10.15 maybe right now. And by the time I do all of that, it'll probably be like 11.30. And then I could nap till about 12.30 and then walk to class. That would be perfect because I have class at 1. Um... see what happens. <laughs> I couldn't find my ID anywhere so these are the things that I'm carrying in as well as a laundry bag and my book bag which maybe you can see in the reflection there, the pink. Um, anyway, since I don't have my ID I can't get into here but there's no one around to open it for me. <gasps> it is 11.30. I'm gonna try to nap now and wake up in about 45 minutes to an hour. It's 12.31, I just left my apartment. I look rough. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. My hair is sticking out all over the place. My eye. You can still see marks from like me being asleep. <laughs> Embarrassing. I made it here in 14 minutes. That is gonna take much longer. Um, and I'm glad I walked. So far, so good. We've done an hour of class. We're on our first break. We have an eight minute break, so I'm gonna go down to get some coffee. Um, although I haven't been like falling asleep or anything, I do feel very tired. Um, when I went into class, I wasn't feeling very tired, but now I do, so I think I should get some coffee. My doctor said I can have some coffee. It's 2.01, I'm a little bit late to class, but I got my coffee and a gluten-free muffin. I'm out of class, I did really well today, um, so I'm happy about that. I did not get sleepy um, during class, which was good, um, but I did have coffee. I had 50-50, and I only drank about half of the small coffee that I got, so... Um, I really didn't drink a lot of coffee, but I still feel really shaky, so maybe next time I get coffee, I'll do 25 
75% caffeinated, 75% decaffeinated, and hopefully that'll be better for me. Um, and I'll tell them to only like fill it halfway and the rest I'll do coconut milk. <laughs> um, anyway, I have work at 5 and I got out of class at 4. It's now about 4.15. So for the next half hour, I'm just gonna um, go to the library and print out some things, work on some assignments, etc, etc. And yeah, then I'll go to work. I work till 8 p.m. I didn't realize I had two shifts on Monday until today, um, but that's fine, I don't mind it. And after that, hopefully I can um, move in some more of my things and go to bed. Okay, I'm out of the library. Um, I printed, stapled, and hole punched everything I needed to for the most part. So in here are included some syllabi, but then there most of it is like readings that I have to catch up on. Um, so it's a lot of stuff that I have to do in a short period of time. Um, hopefully I can get some things done um, now at work while I sit at the desk. And if I don't get any of this done, hopefully I at least get myself organized because that's like really important to me um, in order for me to like work decently in the future. It takes me a really long time to organize myself and figure out how I want to color code things and how I want to do everything and how I want to set up papers, organize things. It's a whole thing for me. So it turns out Monday evenings I'm actually in the game room. I thought I was at the desk but not so far. It's been pretty dead. There was just three people in here for a while actually for like two hours playing pool um, but now they're gone and now it's empty and I really hope that it's like this every single Monday <laughs> because I don't really love working the game room but yeah I really want to take a nap I've been wanting to since I got out of class because I had that hour in between to spare when I went to the library but my doctor told me not to take naps after 3 o'clock because after 3 p.m. of course because it messes with your circadian rhythm and um, naps before then are healthy and I should take them as long as they don't go over an hour so I have to limit my naps to before 3 o'clock and they have to be under an hour which they usually always are so I'm out of work it's dark already outside which is so crazy to me and it's so cold um, just because I get out so late and it's so cold, I almost wish I would have driven, but I'm not gonna die. I've walked at later times and at colder times the same distance back when I didn't have a car on campus, so I'll be fine. I'm just complaining for no reason, as we do as human beings, unfortunately. It's about to be 10 o'clock at night, and I'm gonna go out into the freezing to get things from the car because for the past hour I've just blah, 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 for the past hour I've just sat and done nothing. Um, yeah, I don't have class till two tomorrow, so I figure. Oh, actually, I don't even have class because it's online. But I'm gonna pretend I do that way. I sit and do homework at that time. Anyway. Um, oh, jeez. Um, so yeah, I figure I'll just like bring as much stuff as I can in tonight. That way tomorrow morning I can wake up, shower, in order to shower I have to do laundry, but my detergent is in the car and my, and my towels are in the car and my clothing is in the car, so I just have to do it now. So, so far I've taken out one, two, three bins from the trunk and a couple of bags which are currently on my person. Um, two bags full of shoes and then the trunk is relatively empty. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff in here, but this is all secondary stuff that can definitely wait. Don't ask me how I just got all this stuff on here by myself, but I somehow did not have to get it all the way to my room.
struggling a bit and this is a workout. I have this super heavy bag on my shoulder filled with detergent and a bunch of other stuff. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty much the last of it. There are still tiny things here and there in the car floating around, but I don't think I'll die if I don't have them. Once I empty out these kinds of bags, I will bring them back out so I can put all the little things in there and make it easier to carry out, but this is pretty much it. What a crazy Monday. I'm so exhausted. Um, so I'm going the wrong way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think now I'm gonna shower and head to bed. Thanks for watching. Bye!